Rockets move by following Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. This law explains how the propulsion system of a rocket generates thrust, which propels the rocket forward. Here's a simplified explanation of how rockets move. Propellant combustion. Rockets carry propellant in their engines. Inside the combustion chamber, the propellant is ignited and burns rapidly. This chemical reaction releases a large amount of hot gases at high speeds. Gas expansion. This expansion generates extremely high pressure. Nozzle design. The nozzle is shaped in a way that accelerates the hot gases even further, converting the high pressure into high-speed exhaust gases. This process is known as the rocket engine's thrust conversion. Action Reaction According to Newton's third law, as the rocket expels these high-speed exhaust gases out of the nozzle in one direction, an equal and opposite force is generated in the opposite direction. This force is what propels the rocket forward. Continuous Process Rocket engines are designed to operate continuously, allowing the combustion of propellant and the generation of thrust to continue as long as the propellant lasts. It's important to note that rockets can operate in the vacuum of space, where there is no atmosphere to provide thrust like an airplane's engines. The principle of action and reaction allows rockets to move through space by expelling mass at high speeds. This is a simplified explanation, as rocket propulsion involves complex engineering and physics principles. Different types of rocket engines, such as solid fuel, liquid fuel, and ion engines, operate using variations of these principles to generate thrust and move through space. If you like the video, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.